Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me today for my latest installment of my 50 for 2023 series here on the channel. A pretty simple concept, just late in 2022, made a list of 50 single cards that I wanted to try to target in the 2023 calendar year. And I'm gonna try to challenge myself to stay at least somewhat on focus and see how many of the 50 uh, I can put to bed. Uh, last left off just, I think, eight cards in. Um, so I have 42 left to go, and we're already, you know, in the end of or towards the end of March here. Uh, so I really need to get this uh, moving. And I do have some other cards that I've picked up off the list. So today we're going to do card number nine. And as you can guess by the backdrop, it's going to be a Mike Trout card. So uh, we last left off with a 50s vintage Dodger card. Going to move forward now quite a few decades into the 2010s, uh, 60 years later, something like that, and take a look at a couple of Trouts. Um, technically, this is only one item on my list, so it's only going to be number nine off the list, but I did get two cards uh, to kind of fill the spot, so I sort of overdid it on this one. Um, but the backstory here, I've collected Mike Trout um, on occasion, on and off, since probably 2015, 2016, somewhere thereabouts. So I don't have uh, one of the world's, you know, biggest trout collections or anything like that, uh, but I have a smattering of cards here and there. So when I sat down to do this list, I looked over kind of what years were the weakest or where I needed kind of better representation um, in my collection to kind of more fully round out my Mike Trout PC. And what I found is uh, I have a couple rookies that I'm happy with. Uh, I'm doing pretty good on second year 2012 cards. Um, did a whole episode on kind of a rainbow of different parallels of his 2012 Tops and Tops Chrome card. So looking pretty good from those first two seasons. And what I decided to add to the list is his 2013 release. Um, for some reason, kind of just started with the earlier two years and uh, hadn't made much, if any, progress on 2013. Um, so what I put on my list was either a Tops Gold or a Tops Chrome Refractor of Mike Trout's 2013 card. Um, as you can probably figure out now, I ended up picking up both. Uh, so like I said, kind of overdid it. But here is the gold. Uh, was really, really happy to find this one in a PSA Fine 9. Of course, uh, this is a great image of him sliding into third base. Uh, you have the prominent Rookie Cup. So really nice to get the Rookie Cup card of one of the most talented players uh, in baseball in the 21st century. I'm not sure why I put this one off for so long. It wasn't cheap uh, as far as pickups go, but it wasn't super expensive either, um, especially, you know, given the caliber of player that Trout is um, and the popularity of these Topps Gold cards. I know a uh, lot of other people that I'm friends with in the hobby that really go after these. Um, they're really beloved cards um, and, you know, serial numbered since 2001 uh, to the year of release. And so obviously this one is out of 2013 here in the upper right on the back, copy 291 of 2013. So really, really proud to be the owner of one of the uh, just over 2,000 copies that exist out there in the wild of this Mike Trout Tops Gold. So it uh, feels like a significant pickup for my, my small little trout collection and uh, really, really happy to add that one. And then as I mentioned, you know, I did leave myself some, some leeway to go after either the Topps Gold or a Refractor. Um, but in this case, the price was just right um, at different times this past offseason. I really feel like Trout was kind of undervalued and you could get some of his cards for a pretty cheap coin compared to, I think, where they should be. And so I uh, took advantage of that and was able to scoop up the Topps Chrome Refractor. Also in a matching PSA 9, this one has a little bit of scratching on the case itself. You can see, but the card is in really great shape. I'm not sure why it got a 9 instead of a 10. I don't really care. I don't even look them over all that closely to try to find out. Um, this is a beautiful card to me. I'm glad that I got it graded. Um, again, not an expensive card. It was right around the same amount of money uh, as the Topps Gold. This is not numbered. It's just being, being you know, a standard refractor. Uh, but I do think there's something nice about just the plain old refractor. Um, I know these come out now in every color and serial numbered, and I love a lot of those as well. Um, I covered quite a few of those in the video that I did on the 2012 uh, Mike Trout Tops and Tops Chrome. Um, but the one that I really want to work on a run of, uh, a full player run of, is just the standard refractor. 
Um, so I do have the 2012, which I showed off in that video that I just referenced, and now happy to add the 2013 to it and uh, put it alongside the Topps Gold and kind of went from uh, having that Trout Rookie Cup card being very underrepresented in my collection to getting two of the better uh, parallels that I would want of that card. So again, just uh, continuing to take my time, uh, remind myself that it's a marathon, not a sprint. Um, I collected Mike Trout for, you know, seven or eight years before I finally track down those two cards and there are still plenty of other trout cards that I don't have yet that I would love to track down. So um, it's nice to pace myself, but it's uh, also nice to see uh, the collection growing. And I'm very, very happy uh, with this addition to my list of 50 cards for 2023. So that's going to be a wrap. That'll be nine cards down here in the project or nine slots, you know, checked off the list of 50, 41 to go. Um, I do have a couple of others in hand that have come in. I'm just a little bit behind on getting them posted here. So I'll have another episode in this installment coming soon. Uh, but in the meantime, I really appreciate you joining me uh, to check these two out. And I will be back in the very near future with some more sports card content. Till then, take care and keep enjoying the hobby, everybody.